Hello over users, Alex CEO of Vray Guide and today I want to show you a case study of one of our students. Uh, her name is Nadi. She was doing that scene during our Vray portfolio workshop challenge and she actually started really good with those uh, references, collecting those references of loft spaces and then she just took my Linero set scene and started modifying it and adjusting it to uh, her purpose, whatever she was trying to do. So that's, first of all, it's a good example of how students can take our models, our library, and start working and producing something that looks really simple, but still good lighting and photorealistic, which is the most important thing. Now, I asked her to give me that scene so I can play around with it and take it into VR with Unreal Engine and see how this scene responds and if I can actually get the same quality that this scene was uh, achieved, the same quality that was achieved in this render. As you can see, the stuff looks pretty sharp, pretty good, the reflection, everything works pretty well. Okay, so let's go and check out how this scene can work in VR. All right, guys, so I'm so excited because I'm inside the VR and it's been a whole week that I'm messing around with this. It's not that easy. And uh, you can see I can move inside my space. I just exported the basic walls here of my entire model. Uh, put some modifiers for lighting and reflections. And I got some also interior lights here. And from here I can start and bringing other objects into the scene. So I can click play. I'm using a template. You can see the floor came out really good and we can see the bump. The normal map is working also pretty nice. The ground came out well. The walls, I still haven't baked them, but you can see we have, we have some ambient inclusion which is pretty nice. Okay, and I also added some, uh, because I can jump, I'm using this template of a 3D shooter, I can also walk inside my apartment here. Pretty cool stuff. And we can see also glow, how the glow works. And we're getting this nice lens flare effect which is uh which is pretty cool and everything is adjustable here that's the whole thing the lighting the glow everything is pretty pretty workable the way you want to put it you can have all those parameters being changed and uh let's go and explore the scene a little bit it was a preparation, all the materials unfortunately has to be standard, it doesn't work with V-Ray materials and in order to get an even better quality we need to bake V-Ray lighting inside the materials, unwrap the textures and use them later on as standard unwrapped textures inside the Unreal Engine. But for this quick example I actually just you know didn't, didn't do much and uh, just used the basic standard options that Unreal Engine got to offer. As you all guys know, this is a free engine. You can go ahead to uh, Unreal website and download it for free. There's also a bunch of tutorials that show you how to work with this stuff. Um, I have about 18 models here with window frames and everything. And you can see this is different lighting effects and post-production effects that I can tweak here, chromatic aberration, venegeting, um, intensity of bloom, and we have minimum maximum brightness here, that we can tweak, intensity of the lights, oh this is intensity of our lens flare so you can see it creates nice effect 
of that gloom. And bokeh effect. Threshold of the bokeh effect. Really nice realistic glow. I love this so much. I don't know, I got hooked up on this stuff like crazy. And uh, I thought maybe it's a good time for me to teach how I made this stuff. Even though it's simple, it looks pretty, pretty awesome. You can export videos, sequences with no time. You can export uh, 4K images also just by clicking without even waiting this image to get rendered. Now we come to this spot here, which my boy Clint was asking me how I use HDRI in order to light my scene. So here in the cube map texture, if you go, I kind of started playing with this around. You can actually start and loading up different HDRIs. This is a Peter Guthrie HDRI right here that I used and uh, actually using this one to produce those soft lights that you saw in the max render of our student Natty. So I'm very thankful for her to giving me this scene so I can play around with it and uh, do some cool tests which can produce really nice results in real time. Okay, so go ahead guys download it there's a bunch of tutorials there's a bunch of cool post-production settings you can work with this image and uh, you can try it out by yourself if it's getting too complicated you are more than welcome to fill up a survey below this video there will be a link to uh, our survey all right so if you want to learn how to make vr and how to light up this nice loft space you are more than welcome to fill up a survey below this video and let me know if this is the workshop that you want to learn. However, I do get a lot of questions about how I made this exterior lighting. So maybe you can help me out. Fill up the survey below and tell me which the next workshop you wanted to do. This exterior lighting with aerial shots, the bird eye view, day and night uh, lighting setup with materials or you would like to learn virtual reality with Unreal Engine and of course lighting and modeling and the whole model preparation with 3ds Max and V-Ray. Okay, so go ahead, fill up the survey, let me know and in the meantime I'm going to continue playing around with this amazing virtual reality engine.